This time on Dibalik Pintu, we visit one of the most successful doctors in Indonesia. On top of the 10th floor Vinsky Tower, inilah Dibalik Pintu, Natasha Vinsky! Good morning you guys, hari ini gue mau dibalik pintu, this is gonna be super fun. Mandi dulu yuk! Let's go take a shower, gue pakai Sampo Jordanian Sea Salt Shampoo by Scarlet, as you guys know. And also this conditioner is very good. Oh, so fresh guys, udah selesai mandi, now washing my face, as usual, pakai produk-produk dari Scarlet. And guys, this is a new acne essence toner yang kalian harus coba, kalau kalian mukanya lagi jerawatan kayak gue. Acne essence toner ini bagus banget untuk memaksimalkan fungsi dan manfaat dari skincare yang kita pakai guys, dan juga menghidrasi serta merawat kulit yang berjerawat. Dan juga ada buliran beads acne essence toner ini mengandung phytoscholine and it's really good karena ini dapat meredakan peradangan pada jerawat. Berikutnya gua pakai serumnya as usual the acne serum and then don't forget the acne cream before we go guys. Let's hope my face gets better ya guys. Buat kalian yang mau pakai pakai juga produk Scarlett semua Bepom dan not tested on animals. And now we're good to go. Let's go. I love your tower. Thank you. It's very pink. pink. <laughs> oh my god, you not only have computers, but it's all diamonds today. Exactly. Oh. This is where I work, but today, you know, it's a very special day. Yeah. Um, to show you my jewelry collection. <laughs> Boy, have a seat. Oh, thank you. I'll sit over here. Loving your office, sister. So, big boss. Tapi <laughs> seriously, like the whole of Indonesia, kalau mau nyari stem cell mm -hmm. or anything, they come to you guys. Well, we try to do our best, especially mm. in researching the science, to mm. make sure that everyone gets the proper therapy. Basically. Right, and you also do planes, right? Mm, yes, that's exactly what Jualan pesawat. Yes. I started my company in Singapore called mm. AeroQueen, mm -hmm. and here in my office you can see some of the aircraft models that have been sold through AeroQueen, wow. or that has passed through us, or that we, the aircraft that we rent wow. as well. Wow. You're only 28 years young. Okay, I'm 28 years old. Yes, I see. And look at your life. <laughs> Kalau ini satu diamond hilang, lu nggak bakal sadar anyway, right? Um, I don't know if. <laughs> Yo, can we see your penthouse? Okay. Welcome to my penthouse. Oh my god, it's like a cotton candy palace. I love pink. Welcome to my room. Whoa! You don't know what this is like. It's like one of those little rooms in Disneyland. Yeah, Kaya, this is actually one of my dream rooms when I was a kid. I mean, like, look at the lamp. It's full of roses right. everywhere. Yeah, it's like, you know, when I feel like I want to... Seperti gadis lagi, asik. Seperti zaman-zaman masih gadis. Yeah, this is the place I would stay. You said this was your dream room as a child, right? Yeah, I think so. What were you like growing up? So my mom, I think, was the stricter parent. So yeah. she was the one who, you know, you have to have good grades, you have to be the best. And my dad just balances it out. Right. Um, they taught me well enough so that I can survive on my own. You know what I like about you, though? <laughs> you are the type that's born privileged, but you actually work and hustle out there on the streets. Yeah, karena, you know, want to be sabis, tapi. We, our knowledge will never finish. Maka kita harus terus belajar, terus berkarya, karena itu hal-hal yang nggak akan pernah hilang. If there is war suddenly, we're all gone. We're done. We're all zero. Yeah, we're all zero. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. You're known as a Barbie doctor, right? Well, you know, I'm actually not as Barbie as you think. I'll show you. Huh? Holy shit. Is this real? Of course it's real. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Doctor macam apa ini? Ada tembakan. This is my hobby. <laughs> and this is for self-defense. Oh wow. <laughs> so it's still Barbie-ish. That's why bro, don't mess with the doctor. Okay, I'll put this back in the safe. All we'll right. use it again when we shoot together. Boy, you want to have lunch? I got some friends over. Yeah, okay, let's go. 
So she's your friend too. Yeah. Oh my god. Ayo ada Mirna juga. I didn't know they were here. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> so ya yeah, tadi kita keliling-liling gua dari atas ngobrol-ngobrol sama dokter. Gua habis diajak naik helikopter. Kita berdua. Why did you why not me but then? I'm sorry. Ladies first. <laughs> I'm in the wrong building, yo. <laughs> wow, oh my god, so this is your lunch every single day? Of course not. This is rich people food, man. <laughs> no, this is especially for you guys, for my special friends, my yeah. brilliant, talented, genius friends, which are you, all of you. Thank you. Thank you. What do you normally eat every day? Um, tempe goreng. <laughs> this girl is freaking on fire, man. This whole building is about stem cells. And she runs this thing. Awal mau jadi dokter gimana sih? Did you want to be a doctor? <coughs> I didn't actually. <laughs> Your family wanted you to. I'm a fourth generation medical doctor in my family. And then finally, me as an only child, I was very pressured yeah, to be a doctor. It was pretty much... What did you want to be? I said anything but that. Dulu when I was younger, I wanted to be... One of my dreams was to be a pilot. Nah ini satu hal yang gua sam- oh. <laughs> Me too! Sampai ini, sampai saat ini belum, belum. But I know it will <laughs> come true. Wow, gitu. <laughs> but my mom, yeah, being a tiger mom, I love you, mom. But still, <laughs> let me thank you, Juga, because right. of her. She's told me you should be a doctor. Pasti when you jalanin, you pasti suka. And then she said to me also, um, hanya orang pinter yang bisa masuk fakultas kedokteran, tapi hanya orang yang idiot yang nggak bisa keluar. <laughs> jadi, wow. my, jadi that was pressure for me every day when I was clear. Okay, wow. no, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Karena my mom, <laughs> you know, keeps on doctoring wow. that to me. So pokoknya I want Indonesian medical tourism to also be good. Karena selama ini Indonesia banyak banget so many smart doctors, yeah. brilliant doctors, but but you're smarter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is your balcony? Yeah. Wow. Skyboarded. How about that? Oh, wow, that's yeah. sick. You got yeah. lots of plants. I know. You Don't tell me, gotta get a corona, you guys started planting. Yeah, I think we're one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> Ah boy, this is my mom, oh. mom. I know you. The famous Dr. Debbie. Oh my God, how Have are you? Seat. I'm so happy to meet you. Nice to meet you, yeah. boy. Kak what is stem cell? Stem cell itu sel punca, jadi bisa berubah menjadi macam-macam sel yang berguna bagi tubuh kita. Oh, oke. Okay. Kau tidak tahu kan misalnya syuting. Kayaknya <laughs> <laughs> kapan ya? Kapan tahun, ya? Tahun depan. Aduh, aku doakan. Okay. Kalau sudah menikah, orang Indonesia punya baby, hmm. simpan tadi pusatnya di mana? Di Indonesia. Di Indonesia, yang ada bank sama laboratorium. Biasanya ya. dikubur. Jangan. Biasanya, tahu? Eh, Hari-hari kan dikubur. maksudnya kan? Biasanya dikubur ke dalam ke bawah tanah. Boleh, sebagian dikubur kalau ada tradisi, tapi yeah. sebagian nanti bisa hubungi sel tek atau pusat oh. sel sel, bank stem cell. Nah, kemudian nanti diambil, disimpan di bank di sini. Itu buat biar apa? Loh, itu bisa digunakan. Oh, ya? Kalau misalnya nanti ada leukemia, atau nanti ada diabetes, uh-huh. either the grandparents, atau saudaranya, uh-huh. atau temannya juga bisa kalau stem cell allogenic. Wow. Jadi sangat berguna, ada cancer, you never know. Nah, Tante kan sekarang punya gedung Kak segede Prof. ini. Kak Prof. Kak Prof kan <laughs> punya gedung segede gini nih, famous kita. Awal. Banyak yang punya lebih gede. Ya, yeah, boy. Dulu, what were you like growing up? Were you rich dari awal? Not really. We come from, ya cukup, uh, biasa aja. Nggak susah, nggak kaya banget, biasa hmm. aja. Tapi my parents always teach me uh, untuk bisa memberi pekerjaan pada orang lain. Hmm. Jadi itu yang saya ingat. Hmm. So, my father pernah bankrupt dan dia bilang, aduh kalau kamu Kamu harus bisa memberi pekerjaan pada orang karena kadang-kadang ada masa mencari pekerjaan itu susah waktu bankrupt orang lain nggak mau lihat lalat pun nggak mau mampir hmm. jadi boy waktu ada chance kita harus berbuat kita harus berkarya boy William tuh udah punya nama yang besar ah eh, amin tante maybe you feel biasa tapi nama yang besar even ten- kakak dia dia aja tahu boy William hmm. <laughs> saya juga bilang ke Natasha seperti itu and my father always teach me that Hold on you guys, one second. Gua jadi terharu ngedengar Kak Prof bilang, jadilah orang sukses supaya kita bisa bantu banyak orang, bermanfaat untuk banyak orang. How do we do that? If we have money, we can help more people. Gimana cara kita manage keuangan kita? Listen to me. Di mana-mana you guys, orang sukses itu pasti pintar menginvestasikan duitnya. Jadi bukan hanya mereka yang kerja keras, tetapi duitnya juga kerja buat mereka. But remember, 
pilih platform yang tepat untuk investasi duit. Kalau gue, gue selalu pakai Bareksa. And Bareksa ini udah diawasi sama OJK, so you don't have to worry about a thing. Gue investasi selalu di situ dan keuntungan gue naik and it's super safe. Dan juga buat kalian yang masih awal-awal investasi, kalian gak usah khawatir karena di Bareksa mereka memiliki yang namanya Robo Advisor. So Robo Advisor ini adalah best friendnya kita lah ibaratnya. Dan Robo Advisor akan merekomendasikan produk-produk yang sesuai dengan kita. Kalau masalah produk-produk unggulan, semua ada di Bareksa and it's very recommended. Robo Advisor akan membantu rekomendasikan juga. So if I was you, I'd put my money and grow with Bareksa. Let's go back. You know, orang-orang tuh ya kalau ngelihat hidupan kayak begini nih, they'll be like, what type of problem does this girl have? I think God is fair, you know. Pasti semua orang tuh punya masalah dan blessingnya juga masing-masing. But in the end, people think it's all about the money, but it's obviously not. For me, my right now, after I got married, the most important thing to me right now is my husband and my daughter. Yeah. Itu. Would you lose everything for your family? Um, yeah, of course. And yeah, in a heartbeat. No, no thoughts, and I hope my husband thinks the same way. You know, when they say they ask the guy the same question, they usually say no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> What's happiness to you? For me, happiness is freedom. Freedom to be able to... I know I say help others a lot, and it's not just saying that. Tapi dengan kebebasan, limitlessness of helping people, of helping your family, of loving, is the best form of happiness. And I think banyak orang juga ngerasa atau merubah definisi happinessnya sejak yeah. this pandemic. Because right. at first you think the things that are important to you, yeah. suddenly... Is Isn't, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Jadi, I feel like happiness is freedom, and freedom not only to yourself, to be whatever you want to be, tapi juga freedom to help others limitlessly. Mau bantu kecil atau besar itu sama aja kok di mata Tuhan. Yang penting niatnya, dan yang penting kita memang mau melakukan perubahan. That's true. Gitu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotta make a change. Ouch. Sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's like a ice cube. Good buat kompres mata juga. <laughs>